Here's eight steps to tell better stories in your videos. So you've heard about the importance of story, 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 and how using storytelling in your videos can make them more human and relatable and make people wanna keep watching. As humans, we experience the world in stories, stories about our past, stories about what's going to happen in the future. Stories have been used to pass down ancient wisdom since the dawn of humankind, way before the written word was even invented. The problem with being told to just add more story is that it's it's hard to know exactly how to do it. That's why I made this video. I'm going to break it down and make it super easy for you to become a better storyteller using these eight simple steps. We're going to use a recent story driven video I made to show examples of all of these eight steps to give you some actual real life examples. For years now I've been wanting to walk this trail that leads all the way up to this steel walkway that's suspended right off the side of a mountain. So here the starting state is this desire to do something but not actually doing it and just playing it safe and not making it a priority really. The starting state is where everything is normal or ordinary or boring. It's living life in the friend zone or doing what everyone else is doing. Step two is the inciting incident. It's something that disturbs the starting state and creates a problem that needs solving or a goal to be achieved. I've put it off for years and years until kind of recently realized that none of us are actually guaranteed a tomorrow so thought just come and do it while I've got a chance. The inciting incident or disturbance in the force here is subtle. It's the realization that any of us could die at any time and there's no guarantees about tomorrow. The inciting incident in this case is an internal realization, but it's very common for an external force to provide the inciting incident. Vikings raiding your village, being invited to join an expedition, receiving a telegram about a hidden treasure, you get the idea. Step three is the refusal of the call or this period of self-doubt. You don't want to do something to respond to the inciting incident, for example, or there's doubt that you even have what it takes. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna make it up or not, to be honest. I'm really unfit at the minute and my camera bag and my water and food and everything is, is pretty heavy. In this case, the doubt comes from the fact that I'm not very fit and I've kind of gotten out of shape, so I'm doubting whether or not I can even get to the top. In step four, we have the decision to try even though we have doubts. Even though I've got my doubts about my fitness level, I decided to give it a go anyway and just see how far I can get. This example is pretty self-explanatory. It's just me deciding to try and do it anyway. Sometimes this step might also include the planning and the getting ready, putting a team together, packing bags and setting out of the door. Think Lord of the Rings where the fellowship gathers together and first sets out to take the ring to Mordor. Step five is optional and it's handy if, for example, you're making a travel video and you want to give the audience some background info on the country that you're visiting. In a more narrative style film, this could be the backstory of the situation or main character. Basically, it's a chance to further set the scene and give the audience some additional information. So I'm here in the Porongarup National Park, which is about a four hour drive south of Perth here in Western Australia. This range was formed over 1.2 billion years ago when Antarctica and Australia crashed into each other. Other. There's been over 700 species of plants identified growing in this park, which is incredible to have such biodiversity in such a relatively small area. Step six is the meat or tofu of the story, and it's the journey to get to the end goal or end destination. The journey doesn't have to be physical in the sense of walking or driving. It can also be a journey of self-discovery, self-improvement, investigation, or other sense of progressing to some end goal or desire. There's one important thing about this step, and that's the fact that there needs to be some obstacles or self-doubt along the way. This is to keep some tension and interest and drama for the audience. So I knew I was unfit, but I didn't think it would be this hard. I'm gonna have a long break and have a bit of food and some water before keeping going, I suppose. I'd rather just turn around and go back down, which I've, quite honestly, I've thought of that a few times already. Oh, things just keep getting better and better. Just sitting on a, a big bull ant ant nest. Sometimes you might have to create or exaggerate some obstacles to keep the journey interesting. When I was planning this vlog that we're watching at the minute, I knew I could use my lack of fitness as an obstacle to be overcome during the journey. And while I exaggerated it a little bit, it turns out that I really am out of shape. The ant's nest, however, was a real unplanned thing. Just keep going up and up and up. I'm having serious doubts now. That's oh, no good. 
I need to stop for rest and a bit of food again. Good old banana. You can see that I kept with this fitness theme a few more times during the journey. Okay, I think we made it. Wow, take a look at this view. The only problem is I can't, I can't see that skywalk anywhere, so I think I might not even be there yet. In that clip, there's a kind of fake climax where I thought I'd achieved the goal, only to realize there was even further to go. This adds a bit more drama and feeling of yet another obstacle to be overcome. In this vlog, the end journey is me climbing this ladder. If you want a free storytelling cheat sheet that outlines all of these steps, check out the first link in the video description. Step seven is the achieving of the goal. It's the peak moment of the story where everything comes together. In the vlog, it's the literal peak of the mountain, but it could be winning a race, the final epic decorated cake if you make cooking videos, the person having their blindness cured and seeing for the first time, or some other peak moment. Wow. This is absolutely incredible. Oh, I can't believe I made it up. Step eight is the denouement or aftermath or wrapping up of the story. For example, what it feels like to have achieved the goal and what's next for you or the character. We're basically wrapping up the video for the audience in a nice bow so they feel satisfied at the end. Made it down okay. At least now I know I can do it even though I'm pretty, pretty exhausted. But it's kind of, it's kind of made me really determined to get a lot fitter now so I can go out do these kind of things and shoot more videos outdoors. This next video will show you how to make more interesting looking videos by mixing up your camera shots. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and I hope to see you in the next video.